How's it guys? Yeah. This session we're going to fish here at Broken Road in Strandfontein. Um, I'm going to target a cob here and a bronzy. The water is nice and low, it's going to start pushing now. I am going to wait out and I'm going to throw a chocker bait for a cob and maybe also throw a bronzy bait or maybe a slider, uh, a drone, a bronzy bait. But uh, the water looks good, there's a lot of color in the front here. Uh, we have been catching a bit of cob here lately and um, looks good. So hopefully this session I can put you, I can show you guys a cob. Um, yeah, bronzies, bronzies, bronzies and it's time for a cob now. So stay tuned. Oh, that, was, that was a perfect cast. It's in the zone. Wait for the pull now. Should come. The temperature is right. It's about 17, I'd say. We've got a color. We're gonna get that pushing tide. And we're gonna get that big cob. Stay tuned. Now our magic. So I just want to show you my cob bait. Uh, straightforward uh, chocker. It's just a chocker on a dingle dangle. What I've done, I've got a dingle dangle here with a hook in the bottom. So basically, I'm going to be hooking the sinker to that hook and throwing it. So that hook doubles up as a bait carrier hook for the dingle dangle and as a, an assist hook for the bait itself. The bait is straightforward. It's just a Chocker. It's just chocker tied over the dingle dangle. Nothing fancy here in Cape Town. The fish don't worry that much about the finesse side of um, of the bait. They just want smell here for some odd reason. So anything nice and biggish uh, and um, like a blobbish bait. So basically, I've just taken a couple of strips of chocker, tied it over the dingle, and then taken uh, my chocker hammer and mashed up some strips of chocker to make it like a blob bait and then just tied all that on top so when it hits the water it just slowly disintegrates and it will attract that fish straightforward 0.65 ultra green maxima ultra green uh, on a three-way swivel six ounce sinker sinker must be longer than the bait so the sinker can hook onto that and we're good to, good to go. What I've done also, I've just put a little bit of cotton on my sinker just in case there is a bit of wash in the back, but I don't think so. But just I put about five turns of cotton here. So it just even if I get a pull, it doesn't trip straight away. And with the two hooks, my chances of the hooks connecting with the sinker, solid sinker, is actually a little better. So this is the way I fish here in Cape Town. So hopefully. I can catch a cob. Guys, I wanted to catch a cob and I caught a cob. It's a cob. No matter what size, it's a cob. And look, I caught him on that hook in the bottom. The same hook where I hooked my sink onto. Anyway, it's a cob. I'm happy. <laughs> Let me put him back. Go. 
Yeah, I think I've got a small cob or something because that rod kept coming slack and bouncing away. So I've got a friend of mine here yeah, just to uh, reel it in for me. I'm getting my top shot back. There's a top shot coming. Put to find Jaybread on board. Now I'm gonna walk, basically walk this fish down. The beauty about this place is you got this big open parking where you can walk all the way back. Go forward, reel up forward and do it all over again and again. Makes fighting a fish very easy. This fish is also going to the left. There's a bit of rock on the left there. So I'm just hoping and praying it doesn't go too much to the left. Make sure the pins are in between your fingers. Get a tight grip on it. If you want to have a nice good grip on it, throw the bit full of sand, you can have a nice grip on it. There we go. Just make sure that those pins don't stick you. You know, the fish is it's in this trough here. There's a little rock here in the front, so I just need to keep my rod tip up as much as possible. I can't get him. Just so need to get him. Keep him on the top. Try to get him to move right a bit. I don't want to pull him too much. Hopefully, this travels swims right a bit. Uh, guys, I managed to get the fish here in the clear now. Uh, it looks like a bronzy. Uh, so yeah, hopefully I'm gonna land him soon. But awesome man. Daiwa tournament. Enjoying the fight of this Daiwa tournament. Yeah, I am the trusted saltist. 8,000, 50 pound jaybraid. Doing the job. Could be a raggy head. But I saw a big fin. I'm really thrashing a bit here. This is my old friend Andre. He's an ex Goodwood Angling Club member. Uh, yeah, he's heavy into the social league now. Uh, he's always on the beach, always ready to assist anyone. Uh, yeah. Thanks, uh, Andre. Thanks Pleasure. for helping me with that other rod. And I know you're going to hang around here to help me land this one, eh? We'll see. <laughs> Depending on the size. Depending on the size. <laughs> Depending on the size. Oh, and he's, he's actually a, a, a very funny guy also. <laughs> yeah, we said it was a raggy, then we said it was a bronzy. Now I'm going back to my first choice as it being a raggy. I think it's a raggy. I've seen it still flop around a couple of times. But yeah, I've pulled it so hard so quickly to the front here now it's, she's still quite green and uh, giving me a bit of uh, carrots here so might as well just fight it yeah gently and uh, yeah I want to land this fish
Number one. Juno circle, perfectly in the corner. Just gonna put an Audi tag in it. Now he's got a number plate. Guys, I'm so excited to come here and get a reggae. Every day we've been getting fish. It was awesome to get this reggae. A beautiful male reggae, 191 centimeter. Uh, yeah, it gave me a bit of a bit of gears here in the front, but uh, easy job. Went down to the fish, got the leader in, and then just towed the damn thing out. Yeah, he swam away nice and strong with the Ori tag in it. And yeah, hopefully. You can yield some valuable information for research for the future. And um, yeah, guys, epic. I don't know if I'm gonna put another bait. I'm also quite tired from the whole nighter. So this session has been has proven quite quite fruitful for me. I got a carb <laughs> and I got this bronzy uh, reggae. So I'm all excited. Uh, yeah, guys, stay tuned. Subscribe to ASFN. Yo, no, Tower Magic! Woo, thank you, buddy. Guys, I want to say a special thank you to Andre. Thank you, buddy. Anytime. 100%. Anytime. 100%. Yeah, talk to Truman as well. We are family by ourselves. Thank you. Yeah, we, we are for each other. We must look out for each other. I mean, we're the only ones that we have on the beach. And uh, thank you. Really appreciate it. I would have battled if you didn't come to my aid. Yeah, thank you. All right, you can make you can make the EFT later on. Uh, I can make the EFT <laughs> later on. <laughs>